after a nearly three-year battle with the SEC and the worst Christmas ever, the federal court in the United States has ruled that as a matter of law, XRP in and of itself is not a security. Yeah, that one. You can applaud all you want for that one. Other than Bitcoin, XRP is now the only digital asset with regulatory clarity in the United States. Yeah, I'd, I can, I'd applaud for that one too. I truly believe we are in the digital renaissance. The best thing we can do is empower other people to work with this technology. The best builders I know are pragmatic builders. Solving a real problem for people, building something that people genuinely love. The only way you get there is by using the best tools available. We need you guys to build the future. We need you to tell us what you need. We need you to build things. We need you. Back at the time, most people thought that proof of work was sort of the secret sauce that made Bitcoin. The idea at the time was that anybody could mine and that that would be a great decentralizing force. And I think we know now that mining has become very consolidated. The decentralizing force is all of you. The decentralizing force is the community. The decentralizing force is that the ledger is public, is that it's open source, that all the transactions are public, that everybody knows what every transaction does. So a couple of near-term call-outs. Um, talk about a little bit what's coming up ahead. Uh, most of the things are, are things that I've already talked about. The AMM activation on mainnet, we hope, uh, is coming up. We're excited about the EVM sidechain going live. Um, hooks. And, of course, more stability, uh, security, and cost improvements. That's going to keep happening. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I have an exciting video to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoy those clips from David Schwartz. He is currently in Amsterdam at the Apex XRPL Developer Community event talking about the future of the XRPL. One of the statements he said that I think is huge is the fact that XRP and Bitcoin are the two crypto assets in the United States that have regulatory clarity. They are both defined not as security. I think that's going to be huge as we move forward into this new crypto age where regulations matter. That was one of the big takeaways. He also talked about the new cool features that are coming to the XRP ledger. This is a follow-up video from the one I made last night. Make sure to go follow up, watch my old videos because I made a video talking about XLS30, Automated Market Maker. And now I'm going to show you guys that the voting has officially begun today. I'm going to show you guys how you could follow along with the process because um, the proposal is live. Now, basically, the validators need to come to consensus. 80 plus percent of the validators need to vote yes. Remember, their default vote is no. So they automatically are a no vote. They need to turn their no vote into a yes vote. And 80 plus percent have to be in agreement for two consecutive weeks. For two consecutive weeks. Once that goes, goes through for two consecutive weeks, the software can upgrade, and we could then have automated market making and DeFi on the XRPL. People could use XRP as a liquidity pool token and earn commissions. Now I'm gonna show you guys where you can follow the votes. You're gonna go to xrpscan.com. You'll see at the top of the page, there's metrics, validators, amendments. You're gonna to go to amendments. So you're gonna click on amendments, and it'll show you the new proposals that have just launched with the new Ripple code base, version 1.12.0. One of them is clawback, which is gonna be huge. And the next one is AMM, huge for the future development of X, XRPL. Both these combined are just as important as the XLS20 amendment, the NFT tokenization amendment that came um, to the XRPL. This is bringing even more utility, enhancing the XLS20 amendment as well. We'll talk about that in the future. 
But this is where you guys could keep along with the process. Uh, XLS20 took a long time. It, this could take a long time. Uh, the one thing I think the automated market maker could take faster is they've already had a successful audit with Certic. So Certic has already went through the code and gave it a thumbs up. Uh, AMMs have also been on the DevNet since November 2022. It's almost coming up on two years that they've been playing around the, with this on DevNet. So they're almost ready to uh, upgrade and integrate it into the main net XRPL. You can see that Ripple uh, Ripple Dev just posted today that the uh, amendment is going through the voting process. Uh, you could read more about this. Basically, uh, a protocol native automated market maker. Um, they're even going to allow NFTs to be in these automated market makers, which is pretty cool. So this is going to be a game-changing update to the XRPL and a game-changing update for the investors as well because it's going to be more DeFi utility. And it's also a game-changing update for the developers building and the people that want to issue assets onto the XRPL. It helps when you could have healthy order books if it could all be automated through uh, AMMs. So uh, if people are like, okay, I'm really excited for liquidity pools to come. Well, I would definitely recommend uh, studying more DeFi terminology so you're prepared. Uh, when you enter a liquidity pool, you need two tokens. So you'll have one token paired with another token. That's how you create the order book. Uh, they show you some examples in this uh, because uh, you want to know what impermanent loss means. So you understand the risk before you enter these liquidity pools. And uh, they'll show you some examples. So I'll put this in the description below. So make sure you study up on what impermanent loss means and DeFi terminology, like what a liquidity pool is, so you know what you're doing. But you, the unique thing about XLS30, one of the things that makes it the secret sauce is it's not the same as every AMA. Some AMMs are de designed different. And uh, notably, the, this is a, a quote from Ripple X. Notably, the design introduces a novel continuous auction mechanism that incentivizes arbitragers to bid for mispricing opportunities and effectively reduces the effects of permanent loss for liquidity providers, LPs. So it's supposed to reduce the effects of impermanent loss for liquidity providers, this uh, novel continuous auction mechanism that incentivizes uh, arbitragers. So but it's still part of the equation. Like in permanent loss, even reduces the effect, it still could happen. So I would definitely recommend studying that. So uh, now you guys know where you could keep up with the votes. We've been talking about it so long. Now it's actually live and people are voting today. So go over to XRP scan. And uh, once it's approved, you're basically gonna make sure if you're only on centralized exchanges, like if you're only on Uphold, if you're only on Coinbase, if you're only on centralized exchanges, you're not gonna be able to participate on these uh, automated market makers on chain. You're gonna need to get an XRPL wallet, whether it's ZUM, most people's favorite ZUM, or the Solo Dex wallet. Um, there's also a new one called Crossmark, like a browser extension wallet coming. You're gonna need to get an XRPL mainnet wallet uh, and then you'll need to find a platform that you'll connect with so there's another platform called orchestra finance they're building an amm dex on the xrpl so this is basically one of the platforms that you'll be connecting your you'll connect see how it says connect wallet so you'll connect your zum wallet or whatever wallet um, and then you'll be able to provide liquidity to uh, different pairs and there'll be an automated market maker, okay? But then also another, for people that are fans of the Sologenic project, Sologenic team has successfully integrated the XLS30 on DevNet. And as soon as the amendment is passed on live on XRPL, they will flip the switch and Solo will have the AMMs and I've showed you guys how they'll look, the interface. The interface looks really cool. So there'll be different options that people have to uh, access AMMs and participate, but you need to have an XRPL or a 
wall like ledger depending on uh, the platform so uh that's my video for you today guys now we sit back and wait and allow the validators to uh give their vote of confidence to these amendments and uh you know once these amendments have gone through um it's going to be a new error on the xrpl it's going to be a new age so everybody uh peace